cats are available in a wide range of colors and patterns. And cat historians and enthusiasts have created specific names to describe some of these patterns, such as tabbies, calicos, and tortoiseshells. However, hands down, one of the most beautiful patterns is the tuxedo. Tuxedo cats are named after their distinctive black and white coat pattern, which resembles a tiny tuxedo suit. You know, those posh black and white gentleman suits, like the one the cast wore in the Men in Black movie. However, tuxedo cat's distinctive coats are only one of many intriguing features of this cat. So without further ado, here are 10 fascinating facts about tuxedo cats. Number 1. Tuxedo cats are not a breed. Yes, tuxedo cats are not a specific breed. Instead, as previously stated, they earned the name tuxedo because of their distinctive bicolored black and white coat pattern that resembles tuxedos. Furthermore, because tuxedo cats can be found in a variety of breeds, including Turkish Angora, Maine Coon, British Shorthair, and American Shorthair, their coat textures vary, they can be silky, straight, or shaggy. So you may ask, if tuxedo cats can be found in a variety of breeds, is their pattern exclusively black and white? The answer takes us to number 2. True tuxedo cats come only in black and white. Genuine tuxedo cats have only black and white bicolored coats, with solid black being the dominant color. Number 3. Each tuxedo cat is unique. We now know that all true tuxedo cats' dominant color is solid black. However, like human fingerprints, no two tuxedos are the same. Each cat has its own distinct style when it comes to the white patches. Some have white fur on their chest, throat, belly, and paws. Other tuxedo variations include white around the nose and chin or white on the nose tips. Another variation, Dub the Kittler, has a white mustache. In the United States though, a tuxedo cat is defined as an otherwise black cat with a small amount of white spotting limited to the chest, paws, face, and throat. However, regardless of where the white patches are located, no two tuxedos are identical. There will always be some difference in the white and black ratio and the shape of the patches. Number 4. So what exactly causes the tuxedo coat variation? Well, here is an interesting fact, tuxedo coat patterns are determined by genetics. As a matter of fact, all cats have color genes, and when their genes are combined correctly, the cat can have the tuxedo pattern. Remember, tuxedo cats are genetically predisposed to having predominantly black genes. However, the white spotting gene conceals the black coloration in certain areas of the body by generating white patches or white spots in the fur during the gestation period. Furthermore, the spotting gene results in various degrees of white spotting, ranging from 1 to 10. Tuxedo cats' white spotting genes are categorized as low grades, which range from 1 to 4. The smaller the number, the less white you will see. Additionally, high-grade black and white cats, which have more white, are sometimes referred to as van patterning, named after Turkish van cats. Number 5. There is no dominant gender among tuxedo cats. A cat's gender can influence coat color. For example, the majority of tortoiseshell and calico cats are females because they share the same genetic information that determines their coat colors. However, tuxedo cats do not have a dominant gender. This means that a tuxedo cat has a 50-50 chance of being born as a male or female. Number 6. Generally tuxedo cats have green eyes. Yes, the majority of tuxedo cats have green eyes. Even though having green eyes is not uncommon in cats, it's kind of awesome that most tuxedos share this trait. Number 7. Egyptians once worshipped tuxedo cats. It is well known that the ancient Egyptians held cats in great regard and worshipped them as gods. Actually, a number of Egyptian goddesses were portrayed as cats, and such cats were frequently depicted in Egyptian royal tombs. However, did you know that over 70% of cats featured in these tombs were tuxedo cats? Yes, tuxes were, in fact, the most worshipped cats in ancient Egypt. 
Number 8. Tuxedos are easily found in shelters. Though remarkably beautiful, tuxedo cats are not uncommon. At the very least, you are likely to find one at your local shelter. Unfortunately, many of them have difficulty finding a family to adopt them due to a misguided belief that black cats are bad luck cats. According to felineliving.net, tuxedo cats spend an average of 10 days longer in shelters than cats of other colors. The website also reports that there are plenty of tuxedo cats available for adoption in both British and American shelters. Number 9. For a while, the world's wealthiest cat was a tuxedo cat. In 1998, the owner of a tuxedo cat named Sparky died, leaving Sparky a whopping $6.8 million inheritance, making him significantly wealthier than many other pets and most people. This was the largest inheritance a cat had until 2011. But let's talk about the current richest cat for a tad bit. She is a Siamese Persian cat named Nala. As a matter of fact, Nala was adopted from a shelter, and it is reported that Nala is now worth a whopping $100 million. Nala also holds the Guinness World Record for the most Instagram followers for a cat, with 4.3 million followers. The second richest cat is Taylor Swift's Scottish Fold cat, named Olivia Benson. Her net worth is a whopping $97 million. Number 10. A tuxedo cat once served in the military. Simon, a tuxedo cat, was the only cat to obtain a medal for his service during World War II. Simon did what cats excel at, he defended the food supply from mice and other pests, which made him one of the Allies' most valuable assets. Simon was given the highest award for animal military gallantry, and his achievements are truly amazing. Tuxedo cats are adorable and plentiful. And because they are not a specific breed, you can adopt one with either long or short hair. Whichever breed you choose, you'll end up with an intelligent cat who will make an excellent companion. Do you have a tuxedo cat? If yes or no, tell us in the comment section below. And please support our channel by subscribing to receive more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.